So Kenny Sway, when you first started talking before, um, Kenny wanted to reply as well. Listen, I've been That's listening to what Ali said to you. You're the one that seems triggered because we're holding you to what you said. Didn't y'all just say yeah. y'all like y'all, didn't y'all just say earlier that there will be stuff that will happen and then men will respond and then somehow you're gonna try to uphold the men for what the other people said beforehand, but you're not gonna go to the point where y'all got triggered and accused me of something and you disagree based off of five words. You didn't even listen to the whole thing. That means you actually lied when you said you were listening. Uh, nobody owes you anything, Sway. Sway. Exactly. You now you survive Sway. to the, exactly pick and choose. I told you, Sway. men like you that subscribe no, no, to be a real man. Your pick and choose. You're I never subscribe to so, be a real so, man, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. Well, even you describe that's right. And so you the problem. You you try to use old heads against uh, against exactly. men, but it's the young which I, the way I'm you use old you know, heads now. <laughs> yeah, because you wait, you're wait, the, wait, no wait. Ali, Ali, give me a second. You said always are old and archaic, pretty much. The standards that kept communities fit. There are outliers as for behavior. You understand? But you said this new this new way of you seeing how life it should be, is that conducive to a healthy community or just a, a healthy household? Is it healthy to a conducive community or a healthy household? Yeah, so your ideology take care of my B, my family, and, and just the people in my locale. I mean, is it conducive to a healthy household or a healthy community? I think it would probably trickle down to the community level. You, it would start at the household you level. You said after everybody it, else. Were you you gonna, said you're but, looking out for yours. So yeah, exactly. So down? exactly. So if my household is in check, and if every man house has their household in check, that means there shouldn't be any problems. That means it should trickle down. That means if I'm worried about mine, every other man is worried about theirs, there shouldn't be any problems with our kids or our women because we got our shit in order. But here is the caveat. It That's would trickle right. down. That's how you create communities. You start on a family and then you build out with other multiple families that align with the same conviction. And then now you have a community. Sway, <laughs> if that was the way you initially phrased it, I would not have an you, issue with it. You just you asked say, me the question, though. OK, but if that was the initial way, because you just changed, you did you did a shuffle. You understand? I because you said you said minds F everybody else. That's what yes. you said. Uh huh. So wait, wait, wait. If everybody does that, it doesn't trickle down anywhere. It has a whole bunch of people in seclusion just worrying about their own. That's not so you, community based. So you're That's not understanding the concept, right? If you say F everybody else, just my household, and then in your mind, the math works that everyone does that in the community, you're going to have a, a whole, a whole desolate friggin' environment is every tumbleweeds. Kenny, you're Kenny. gonna see tumbleweeds and stuff rolling around because Kenny. that's not conducive Kenny to a healthy community Kenny if the majority of the men have their household in order they got their grass mowed their kids on the bus they their wives and family fed and protected everything is good in order what would they need to be correct? Why would they need to correct random people's kids and wives if they man or they is or their fathers or or men in their life is already doing it? Why would I need to do it now? Okay, so those parents, those people are there, and uh, all the time. An example was given to you by Ham. If my daughters were somewhere, right, and the other men that saw those daughters maybe in distress, kept that mentality. Guess what they're doing? They're not paying attention to Ham's daughters. Because you said F everyone else. Did you not? What would it be the distress from if men have their houses? Okay, so he's not going to answer the question. You you said that if they're in the distress, but what is the distress if everyone has their houses? Okay, Ham said if my kids were in the city and I'm just giving a situation that they were in distress with your ideology minds and minds alone if everybody else that ideology says those kids are on their own true or not true sure are you agreeing just for agreeing or do you see the point well i disagree with the premise mo more most like because the the it doesn't even line up with common sense right because more often than not if every man has a houses in order there wouldn't necessarily be something to step out to correct or if there was it'd be so apparent 
that everyone disagrees that it would more than likely just become either something we disembowel and we add shame to it or be illegal. And so it's like, like I it's like, like we're not really thinking. We're we're really on a low level thinking. And I get like this is why I talk to like Sharon or Hamp or Sherelle or even I listen to I haven't brought this up to Ali yet, but most people that come on these panels can't actually come up with a solution, can't actually think on a higher level. All you can do is spout issues and think of problems. You can't actually think of solutions. So when I hear y'all talk sometimes, a lot of y'all time times y'all will come up with problems that don't make common sense. And y'all like to argue with common sense sometimes. You know? Okay, so so let me rephrase since I lack the intellect or aptitude to make bring solutions to the table. So now, the one that didn't make common sense, let me make it clear for you. Hamp is not around his wife. His wife is with his daughters in New York. They're in a distressed position. If I embody what you said and I see them and I'm with my family, I'm not supposed to pay attention to them because under your words, you said I'm supposed to take care of mine and F everybody else. Those are your words exactly. True or not true? I said fuck everyone else and i'm gonna worry about mines for under the pretense of what those were your words were they not what was the pretense to those words this is the same issue y'all have with okay, ali okay y'all just okay. pick and choose the words I no, 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 no 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 the whole point okay y'all so, just say so, what was the words so what was the words enough, you said what was all enough. my words i said verbate everything i said you want to just point out five that things don't make you right say say okay. every single word i said instead okay. of only five okay. You're looking for a way out, but what? you yelling don't make you right. I'm here. So here's the thing. Since, since, since what I said didn't make sense, and I just gave you a common sense situation, under what you said, you didn't, you didn't leave leeway that you were for the community. I asked you specifically, what would you do? You said, I'm worrying about me and mine F everybody else. I asked you that. So I, I already unpacked that. Then I gave you a situation where it doesn't work. Now you're dancing all around the world. Before, before, let me see. Way before that, you said our ways were old and archaic. New ways, women ain't listening to you nowadays. It's because of soft ass little young dudes like you. That ain't gonna do nothing. When when it comes time for the dust up, you ain't the, doing shit. Sway, let me ask you a question. What's up, man? My kids come to uh, Central Virginia, right? Mm -hmm. You know they there. We understand that you have the premise to take care of you and yours. Um, at the very least, would you be vigilant if you saw them? Are you my brother? Yeah. Yeah, I take care of them. Um, Kenny, does that change anything at all? That there's a nope. and there's there's take out the premise that you're his brother. Under, under what he said, F them. Because so I, think, I think the problem the title, F, yeah. hold on. If he uses the brother title for you, you're part of that family structure. That's not F you. So I think the problem is that he hung yeah. up on the word uh, F him and he's okay. not understanding why he said F him. Right? Because he said, yeah. because I'm a grown he, man, I'm taking care of my own shit. Under the pretense, under the pretense that we live I, in a society I, where Ron, people you don't want to own nothing, consume. and they want to pick and choose and have selective masculinity and selective femininity yeah. on responsibilities That's under the, the pretense. But he don't use that. Don't use the whole thing. Yeah, he don't yeah. think fully, and I have never espoused myself to be a real man. But if I did say that, then sure. If I don't live to the tenets of what a real man is, especially we don't have to play dumb goofy. I'm 25, and I know I don't need to question what we think a real man is, right? Um, if I don't live up to those tenets, you can look at me funny. But if I'm in this day and age where I'm as a 25 year old, my whole life has not been incentivized to be a quote unquote man, or boys can't be boys, and none of that shit, and me being a man is toxic. I don't owe nobody nothing. Yeah. So, right. so Kenny, they, yeah. So, but so Kenny now, Kenny. So, but Kenny's verbiage because okay. Sway isn't Sway. subscribing to the 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 old school what people would deem toxic masculinity. So, what Kenny says is how it would be characterized, right? Essentially, I'm not deeming it toxic though. I'm saying society. Yeah, society. Other yeah, yeah, people yeah, yeah. That's will the deem premise. Certain traits toxic. So Sway, That's why, like. Go ahead. We had that. Remember, we had that convo. Remember when I was like, "Well, these things would be considered pussy, but smart." Remember, we had that whole conversation. Well, and I so, also 
but I also said in that in I think in that conversation where like, oh, men not approaching women, they pussy. When I'm like in the same breath, society doesn't incentivize men to approach women. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to call them pussy based mm -hmm. off of men in their day and age where they were incentivized or it was at least OK to approach women on that level? Yeah. And no, it no, wasn't they, you weren't. You know what I mean? Yeah. They literally same out. premise. Right. The, the yes. society isn't touting the thing. They call the shit that antiquated, you know, masculinity as toxic now. Right. The societal standards so yeah so it's it's literally the same premise i'm just saying that's since kenny does subscribe to that what he espoused in terms of sway was is still accurate based on his mindset because he subscribes to men doing all the things uh i don't think it, it, don't, it doesn't seem like with his speech that he believes that because right he would go and say not too long ago sharon i think if something happened you're going to run away you would well, I, wait, you know, he's saying you don't that, like, if we go sure. down the, the whole man list i do those things on a day-to-day -day basis every single day yeah i don't i don't get I, the so, but, so but but still the person that the 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 men that's outside right that is uh is really communicating in a way where they show that they are doing those things in real life where they got other people vouching and say hey i would go to him before i would go to that person even sherelle said uh, the ladies uh, enjoy the way how Sharon communicate versus how the way Ali communicate, right? These are people telling these people that, but still they would say, nah, you ain't no real man. Even though other right. people are saying that, hey, I do enjoy the way how he communicate because he can hear me out and I can get a solution out of him. But because you feel a way because I'm a, because we are on, we are eyes, we are eyes or whatever, all of a sudden I'm not a real Do you, do you but support? They, or they'll, or do they'll you make you less of a man, right? They'll right. make you less of a man and say you're a panderer. And if right. you're if if they can't say that you're a panderer, then the women are clout chasers. The women are the issue. The women only want to go certain places. It's never them. It's always the problem that they're ineffective leaders. If people don't want to follow you, then move on. Just because you can't speak with doesn't give you an excuse. If, a, just a because woman you can't, can't tell a man to be a man. You can't help people, but I'm disrespectful. Remember, <laughs> just because you can't help people does not give you the right to hurt them right. you are not the one to help them move on that's it it's not your job it's not your responsibility you want to do a good deed somebody doesn't want to receive it move on that's it okay so a woman can't tell a man to be a man sharon you are a panderer you show and then you pointed out the people who agreed with you right wow you pointed out the people who agreed with you rather than the collective who didn't. You understand? So if you went by percentages, no, we wasn't on what you were smoke what you were smelling. I mean selling. We ain't smoking a bag of that. You understand? So when I hear when I hear the young brother Sway speak, I gotta remember I got boots and drawers older than him. You understand? And I know what I've done with these and other things as for protecting people because certain people are built that way. I'm not the biggest man, but I don't like a bully and I don't like somebody in danger. And if I have something to do to it, I'm a step to it. You understand? And certain people are built that way. You're not built that way. That's okay. Me calling you on that. I could do the sniff test, scratch and sniff. You're not like that, Sharon. You move differently, but that no disrespect to you. You understand? But when you're backing a young man that needs the values to pay it forward and carry the torch because we're losing we're losing within our communities as for what we allow to happen yep and they all and they all hey, remember and earlier they all, when I said they project their they, values onto you and what they think you should do I, and how you should move and live and they don't ask me what I've done with my life that's and then they you know try why? to uphold you know and judge you and then they think Sway, it's you know exactly it's they do it over and over again and they prove Sway, it time and Sway. time again you don't like me you're not trying to correct me out of love I want to say the point you try to correct me at all everything coming out you is hatred and and disgust I don't understand why you trying to correct me you trying to shame me and call me what behind my ears and all these other young terms and Right. I'm weak and soft. Sway, and I'm pussy. Yada yada yada. Like Why the fuck would I want to listen to you? you? Think I don't like you. So, so here's the problem, Kenny. So, I was a, I was a speaking about uh, communication, right? Kasim was speaking about a way how you communicate. Sway is speaking about a way how you communicate. Sherelle is talking about a way to communicate. Can't even agree with the way how uh, communication and tone, right? So, you 
you want to focus on the negative things that was said instead of saying hey maybe i should pay attention a little bit more and be a little bit more uh objective to what i am hearing he, you and ali is the only ones that are are at odds ends in this in this conversation because kenny and ali is and, and i'm just going and kenny, i'm just going off the fact i'm just going off the fact of what kenny just presented right he so, just presented okay clearly you, i can't talk oh uh, three of you are trying to provide a solution while rejecting the solution that we're providing right swear already contradicted himself because he's trying to provide try to provide a solution that doesn't not, will not help the community by saying i'm gonna take care of my house fuck everybody else well, you contradict you, you, let me finish let me finish i'm not trying to provide a solution let me finish real quick swear. and you shouldn't be on the panel solution. okay that's okay then you contradicted yourself because you said if you see someone you should help them you said you can't correct them, but you should be able to help them. But he just said, help your house and fuck everybody else. Sherelle's a contradiction because on another show, Sherelle said, say what you say, what you say, be true to who you are. And whoever wants to learn and understand will uh, align to you. Now, today, she changed her words and said, hey, if you don't care about how your followers receive your message, then you don't really care about the followers or the message that's receiving it. Y'all contradicting yourself when y'all speak. So either we're going to provide solutions that's bringing the community together or we're providing the solutions that only hurts one person, whether it's a woman, whether it's the man, or we're moving as an opportunist and it, 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 it's whoever we like or support. That's where the problem lies. So if this is an actual solution where men and women are coming together, it should rectify everything and bring us together. It shouldn't be something where it only hurt, helps you, helps Sway, and helps uh, Sherelle. You're older than them, you, so you should know better. But that's a young men, uh, mentality when you're still operating as an opportunist. And if we're going to provide solutions, we need to get to the core of what's happening versus just talking. Perfect. One so second, he's being too emotional. And then if a different brother, he's being passionate. That's why I said even men pick and choose. Y'all like to do this like fine. That. Yeah. They I'm, did the same thing to wait, me. They did the same thing back. to me. 